Yo, what is going on, everybody? Uh, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a modern Starbucks in Minecraft. So, why don't we go ahead and get straight on into this? Okay, so the grid you're gonna need is a 52 by 52 block area on the ground. So, uh, do make sure you make this grid because if you don't, you're not gonna understand how to build the building. And you'll see once we uh, get to building this. Um, okay, so the materials you're gonna need for this are. You're gonna need quartz, quartz slab, yellow concrete, white concrete, blue concrete, yellow wool, gray concrete, smooth stone, flowering azalea, um, leaves, grass block, jungle wood, um, green terracotta, green concrete. Um, you're gonna need blackstone slab, blackstone stairs, black concrete, black stained glass, pane, um, any kind of door, scaffolding, uh, green carpet, uh, another nether fence, or nether brick fence, um, green banner, you're gonna need, um, oh, what is this, iron bars, uh, black carpet, loom, and then you're gonna need, uh, white dye and bone meal. Uh, and also, guys, if you guys don't know how to make banner letters, uh, I will have a banner letter tutorial linked in the description box below, so, um, keep that in mind. Um, but anyway, uh, without any further ado, let's, uh, get into this, so... Um, sorry, this may be a little too zoomed in. Okay, there you go. Sorry. Anyway. Okay, so materials you're gonna need right now, uh, are, uh, yellow con- What the fr Why did I do that? Wow. Okay, yellow concrete, white concrete, blue concrete, yellow wool, gray concrete, smooth stone, flowering azalea, oak leaves, and grass block. And then once you've gotten all those materials, we can begin. Okay. So... Um, alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is come to both sides of your, uh, of your grid. Uh, you're going to dig out, uh, one, two, three, four, five blocks, like so. Alright, and then fill it in with, um, gray concrete, so you're going to come to each end, right? You're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Alright, and then you're going to extend those rows of five, that row of five, all the way up to the all the way up to the end here like so and uh yeah so once you have done that um yeah like i said you're gonna do this on both sides um and i apologize for not uploading tutorials as frequently um it's just you know uh, i like to do this when my parents are off work so that nobody walks in on me um so yeah Alright, uh, but anyway, uh, once we get these uh, five rows dug out, you're like I said, you're going to fill it all up with gray concrete. Um, this is obviously the uh, drive through so keep that in mind. And then once you've extended these five, the, this row, these rows of five, all the way up to the top, like so, um, you're going to like dig out five blocks and ex connect them at the back, so, so yeah. Um, wasn't easy for me designing this build. I'm not sure why. I mean, not designing this particular one, but like I had another one before this. I mean, this one's a whole lot better than what I did before. I don't know. The one I did before didn't even look like a Starbucks. It looked like some like just I don't even know. Just it didn't look good. <coughs> excuse me. I apologize. Um. Yeah. Excuse me. Anyway. Um. But yeah, it didn't look like a Starbucks, really, even though I had the word Starbucks on. It didn't look like a Starbucks, so... Tore it down and redid it. This is a lot better. I just... I don't know what I was thinking with the previous version. If you guys want to see the previous version, unfortunately, you can't, because I didn't take any pictures or anything, so... Like, I was actually going to go with it for a while, and then I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to, so... So glad I decided to change it, because this looks worlds better than what it did before. Yeah, like I said, you're going to fill this up with gray concrete, and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Alright. Um, yeah, you guys already know the drill. I'm really loving these modern builds. They are... Like, seriously, I'm loving these modern builds. I'm so proud of them. Um, like, I'm really going somewhere with these, definitely. I don't know. I'm not sure which one's my favorite. I'll have to make all of them. Uh, that I have for my list. I have a list of, like, what builds I need to do. Um, like, for my next city build. 
uh, which as you can see, I haven't designed the next city build yet, as always. But uh, yeah, so once you've extended the gray concrete all the way to the end on both sides, you're going to come to either side, you're going to come to the, the end here, right? You're going to face the other side, and from there you're going to dig out one, two, three, four, five, and extend those rows, and extend that row of five all the way to the other side, connecting it to the end, so pretty simple. Um, but yeah, anyway, I need to make all of the uh, modern builds, uh, the rest, or the rest of the modern builds uh, that I have on my list. Uh, which I'm not going to tell you all of them, obviously, I don't want to spoil any of them, but, um, yeah, but, th but yeah, this one's definitely one of my favorites, the Starbucks, I mean, this Starbucks looks so good, so, yeah, and then I also like the Taco Bell, the Sonic, the tutorial for it, definitely not, but, <laughs> I mean, I mean, the tutorial was, wasn't bad, it was just super long, I hated how long it was, yeah, it wasn't bad, like, you're able to follow it and build it and everything, but it was just super long. I hated it. I hate long tutorials. Yeah, I'm hoping this one won't be super long, even though it's a bit of a bigger building. Um, it hopefully won't be as long. I don't think it will be, definitely. It won't be an hour long. Like, jeez, that was a nightmare. But anyway, once you've filled up all the great concrete, that'll be the drive through Excuse me, oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, once you've um, filled in the gray concrete there, that'll be the drive through Okay, next thing you're going to want to do, you're going to take your flowering azalea. Okay, well, first, before you do that, you're going to come to the right side, right? This right um, row of, like, this right side of the drive through From there, you're going to disconnect the grid by one block like this, as you guys can see. And then from there, you're going to put a row of flowering azalea. Oops. Uh, all right, there we go. Uh, all the way until it's one block away from the drive through and then from there you're just going to put a row of uh, leaves. Yeah, you're going to put a row of leaves, like so. Alright, uh, okay, and the leaves actually want to be one block away from the drive through on this side. Alright, so yeah, and then just add the leaves until it's one block away from the drive through on this end, but... but yeah, once you have done that... Uh, we can go ahead and start the parking lot, so what you're going to want to do for this is you're going to want to put another row of five blocks. So on the other side of the flowering azalea, you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, there are five rows, um, and fill it in with gray concrete, and then extend all the way till you hit the leaves like so. Yeah, I'm really loving this flowering azalea. Definitely adds a lot to the builds, so I'm really happy that Minecraft added this, but or added it, but yeah, anyway, so yeah, once you've uh, extended the five rows all the way to the end and dug out the grass, obviously you know what to do, you fill it all up with gray concrete, pretty self-explanatory. Alright, um, yeah, okay, so yeah, you just extend this all the way to the end here, like so. Alright, um, there really isn't much to say. I don't know. If you, if you catch me being silent for a while, it's just because I have nothing to say. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. But, anyway, like I said, once you've uh, filled this all up, now we can do the parking lot. So, alright, so yeah, once you've done that, I mean, I guess we're already starting the parking lot. That's just, like, the road you'd use to get places here. Okay, so to do the parking lot, normally you would start on this end right here. But we're not going to do that. We're actually going to start at the very back, all right? And there is a total of, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. Okay, perfect. So you're going to come to the back, right? So where this row of leaves are, right here. From there, from this last row of gray concrete, so last row of gray concrete at the end, going up, you're going to dig out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven white concrete. And you're gonna fill that up, okay? And then from the top, white concrete going left, you're gonna do one, two, three, dig out three, place yellow wool. And then from there going down, you're basically gonna place, um, um, oh, you know what this is, yellow con, your white concrete, extend that down. All right, so from the top row, like I said, one, two, three, yellow, yellow wool. From there going down, dig out a row, and then fill, oops, not that far. And then just, uh, uh, fill it in with white concrete, and you're gonna do this until you have six spaces. So this is two, 
And then here we have three, as soon as we get this white concrete on here. All right, three, and then one, two, and then from there is four. Yeah, make sure you count your spaces to make sure that you're making enough. Remember, there needs to be a total of six. All right, this is five, I believe. Yes, five, all right. And then one more will be six, all right? Um, all right. All right, and then once you've done that, uh, from there, from this last space, you wanna basically dig out a row right up against it here and then just place the yellow concrete like so. From that yellow concrete, you wanna go, like from the top of the yellow concrete going left, you wanna dig it, you wanna go one, two, three. And then from the third block, you wanna go all the way, you wanna dig down, place the yellow concrete and then connect at the bottom. And then you basically wanna leave a gap one for the bottom dig out a row, place the yellow concrete, gap of one, dig out a row, and then you basically, this is meant to be like the little uh, area where you would, um, you know, like this is going to be a parking, this is going to be a handicap spot. So in this last spot right here, uh, right next to this little yellow grid that we made here, you're basically going to dig out a row, right, like in the middle of it, and then just place blue concrete. Uh, it doesn't have to be this big, but, um, but yeah, and then just, of course, go ahead and fill this in. And actually, um, go ahead and fill in the inside, of the, go ahead and uh, take out the grass of this uh, little grid here and place uh, gray concrete, and then just fill up the rest of these spaces up with gray concrete. All right. So yeah, just dig out the grass between the white concrete of all the spaces, and then fill up with, uh, and then just fill it all in with uh, gray concrete. So pretty simple. Yeah, I'm starting to add these, um, starting to like these uh, handicap spots I'm adding to the builds like I did with the Taco Bell I think I started yeah I started with the Taco Bell and then I just kind of just liked it you know I like doing it so I thought why not add it to Starbucks as well and I might go ahead and add those to the rest of my builds I don't know about the next build which I'm not giving that away yet but um, yeah I haven't designed it yet as you guys could see um, but yeah um, but yeah, like I said, you're going to fill up this uh, entire... Alright. Alright, there we go. Alright, white, so there we go. You fill that in with uh, all those good, with great concrete. And once you've done that, um, what you want to go ahead and do next okay let me look over here okay let me look here okay basically what you're gonna want to do is okay so you come to the front of your uh, Starbucks right you see this uh, grid connecting the like the the road leading into the parking lot to the the exit of your drive-through which is this left side you see this grid here you're gonna dig out this grid this entire grid at the front and then you're just gonna fill them with grass and then place leaves place a row of leaves on top as soon as you've done this all right I'm gonna go ahead and place a row of leaves at the top like so all right uh, and then once you've uh, done that I'll be your row of leaves okay and then from there you see where we have this uh, this little grid here for the handicap spot from there you're basically gonna dig out um, like this entire area up to the leaves here as long as the uh, grid here like so you're basically gonna dig out this entire area um, and then just fill this all in with smooth stone this is where our little outdoor um, eating or I guess drinking area <laughs> since it's a Starbucks well I guess I mean they do have like cake pops so I guess it would be eating but um, yeah anyway so yeah we're going to basically fill this all up with smooth stone I think they also have bread and muffins too I'm not sure they don't have a lot of, they don't really have a lot to really eat there. It's mostly just coffee and, you know, stuff like that. It's mostly a drink shop. But anyway, um, so yeah, once you have done that, um, you want to go ahead and put uh, three rows of, um, yeah, go ahead and place, uh, to go ahead and um, dig out three rows behind everything you just made. So from the this big area of uh, smooth stone and then the parking spaces, you're going to do three rows behind everything, like so. All right, so yeah, like I said, they got three rows, and then fill them all up with uh, um, 
smooth stone. All right, um, and then once you've done that, let me just uh, fill this up. Okay, there we go. All right. So yeah, and like I said, okay, and like I said, once you've done this, um, yeah. All right, you want to go ahead. Like I said, fill this all up. All right. All right, and then once you have done that, um, all right, so from there, you wanna basically put, um, so you see where we have the leaves? Um, you're going to place, uh, so okay, so we have the leaves here, so we have the rest, okay, so you're gonna come to the front of your Starbucks, right? And then you can see the two uh, smooth stone. You extend this all the way until it is uh, one block away from the drive-thru, like so. Yeah, just dig out these two rows, and then these are going to be the smooth stone. And then just extend the smooth stone, or fill this all up with smooth stone, basically is what I meant to say. Alright, uh, and then once you've done that, alright, you want to basically um, put two rows, uh, or, yeah, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So the next thing you want to do, uh, you want to leave a gap of six. So from here, like in this corner, right? You want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the rest of this, you want to dig out and place this down. Again, one block away from the drive through Okay. And then uh, once you have done that, um, you want to uh, do the same thing, except it's going to be two blocks away from where the... Okay, so basically what I mean is you're gonna leave another gap of six so basically just come to this uh this last row you just dig you just placed and then you're just gonna dig out until it is two blocks of, like two blocks back as you guys can see here so yeah you guys i'm, I'm sure you guys can see what i'm talking about like like i said two blocks back okay um so this is gonna help you know kind of make the shape of our building here okay and then yeah once you've done that um leave a gap of three um, yeah, okay, so once you've done that, um, so this is the row three, okay, um, okay, never mind, alright, alright, so from the, okay, I'm so confused, what the frick, alright, so you're gonna leave a gap of three from here, right, so you see where you have this, like, gap here, like this? with the two rows, you got this gap, you're going to leave a gap of three here, all right, and then, um, right, is it three, yeah, it's three, it's three, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold on, all right, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, okay, sixteen, okay, so you're going to, all right, so you're going to leave a gap of three and place six, and then dig out sixteen blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then just uh, fill this up with great concrete, or not the great concrete, the smooth stone, y'all know. All right, and then just do, and then leave a gap of five, and then the rest of it is smooth stone. So, so from this row of sixteen, you're gonna leave a gap of five, and then the rest of this is just gonna be smooth stone. All right. And then once you've done that, that'll basically be the parking lot uh, complete. So, yeah, once you've uh, done that, um, actually before you put your materials away, well, you can put your materials away, but except for your, um, okay, put everything away except for your flowering azalea and your leaves. So go ahead and uh, leave those. And then grab your bone meal. All right, you're gonna wanna grab your bone meal. All right. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is Okay, so you extend this up. Okay. Alright. One, two, three, five. Okay. Alright, so you want to come to, like, the left side of the drive through right? And then you see where the leaves are right here? You want to put one, two, three, four, five leaves there, right? Alright. And then what you want to do from there, uh, you want to leave a gap of one. Do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Alright. So you're gonna leave a gap of one from the leaves, and then you want you're gonna want to put two rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen uh, flowering azalea. So you're gonna put two rows. 
Lauren Azalea like that. Okay. Um, all right, and then you're gonna leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five. All right, you're gonna leave a gap of five from the second row of flowering azalea, the, the row of flowering azalea for this pack, you're gonna leave a gap of five. All right, and then from there, you're just gonna put a row of leaves and you just connect to the end there. All right, and actually don't go ahead and place bone mill yet. We'll go ahead and make the building first before we do the bone mill, so you can go ahead and put that away for now. Okay. So now, now that you've done that, you're going to grab your building materials. So you're going to need, you're, you're obviously going to need, um, oh my gosh, did I seriously not grab light gray concrete? Wow, how did I, wow, okay. Okay, you're going to need light gray concrete, which I, for some reason, didn't include in the material list. Wow. Yeah, I'm definitely not dumb. <laughs> All right, uh, you're gonna need jungle wood planks, you're gonna need gray concrete, you're gonna need black concrete, you're gonna need white concrete, and um, you're gonna need, uh, let's see, you're also gonna need, um, you're gonna need a stair, or you're gonna need blackstone slab, blackstone stairs. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry, guys. This happens every tutorial. Freaking legs give up and they drop the camera. This is annoying. My gosh, you're gonna have to probably deal with that for the rest of the stream. I apologize, guys. Nothing I can do about it. Um, okay, and then I think that's basically it that we need. And then go ahead and grab yourself some uh, black stained glass and the door. I think that'll be it for now. All right, and then we'll make the outside area. We'll make the outside area for in a little bit. But okay, so first things first, you're gonna go ahead and grab your jungle wood. We're gonna go ahead and make this tower first. So actually, go ahead and replace your. Um, uh, your blackstone materials, the blackstone stairs and slab, with green terracotta and green concrete. All right, go ahead and grab those. Um, or actually, yeah, and then actually go ahead and grab your uh, replace your black stain, uh, your black glass, with your. Okay, so you actually need your blackstone slab. My bad. Okay. So what you're gonna want to do is, okay, so you see where we have this little like square like gap here. You're basically just gonna make an entire like. Um, box of um, jungle wood here like so you guys can see it kind of lines up so that's where the tower is going to go obviously and then you're going to extend this up by excuse me you're going to extend this up by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen all right so you're going to need to do 13 extend this up by 13 all right so that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Anyway. And then you're going to extend, the, obviously, the rest of this all the way up by, uh, yeah, by 13, like I said. Yeah. Uh, you're going to do the back row, like so. Uh, and then you're going to do, yeah, just basically just every row fill it all up with um and then fill it up and then well actually you don't have to fill it up at the top um i mean if you want to you can go ahead and do that but i'm not going to yet all right and then you're going to do the front of this as well so yeah like i said just go and fill this all up with uh um uh, like i said 13 13 blocks all right all the way up to the top all right all right and then once you come up to the top, just go ahead and fill the top up with blackstone slab. That's why I said you didn't have to fill it up at the top. You're just going to fill it up with blackstone slab. Okay. And then you're going to leave um, a gap of two from the top. So you're going to find the two middle blocks right at the top of the tower. You're going to leave a gap of two. You're going to put two um, dark green terracotta. Do a bottom left and a bottom right diagonal. Extend the, uh, with the uh, green terracotta. Extend the terracotta down by one. Do a uh, a bottom. Do a bottom left and a bottom right diagonal, basically connecting two at the bottom. And then just kind of put two green concrete and two uh, white concrete kind of checkerboard in each other like that. That's meant to be the Starbucks logo. Uh, just like a small version of it. All right. Yeah. And then once you've done that, that is the uh, the tower. All right. So. Okay, so once you've built your tower, what you're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and grab your gray concrete, and, uh, you can, okay, so you can go ahead and get ready, you can replace your green, um, materials, the 
green concrete and green terracotta with your polished blackstone stairs and your glass again so go ahead and bring those back we're gonna need those all right so go ahead and grab your gray concrete and where we have this gap of five at the like where the parking lot is uh we're gonna basically put a row of gray concrete like so all right all right and then you're basically gonna extend it uh you're gonna extend that extend it up until it is exactly one block like so you see where we have this like last row of jungle wood it's basically gonna be like one block down so basically yeah so just uh kind of extend it up until it is like as high as the tower except two like one block like down and go ahead and extend the uh gray concrete to the tower like so all right hang on let me make sure i'm doing this right yes i am okay sorry i had to make sure and then the row that is connecting to the tower go ahead and extend down by two or sorry down by one my bad all right and then just the rest of this part here you want to go ahead and just uh fill all the way up like so all right the rest of this uh like where you have the gap of five and you have the row of uh gray concrete go ahead and extend all the way or extend all this way all the way up like so all right and then once you have done that you're basically going to kind of extend this back by one all right um and then go ahead and uh, just kind of extend this all the way to the front as well or all the way to the tower all right uh and then you're basically going to put a row of black concrete basically connect into the leaves at this back part here like so all right and then on top of this you're going to place um uh one two three four five six seven eight nine okay nine uh, there's gonna be so you're gonna place you're gonna place a row of nine uh, light gray concrete on top of this uh, on top of the um, black concrete all right and then once you've done that uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this oh my gosh seriously the bur oh my god dude I am a failure <laughs> okay hang on uh, one two three four five six okay seven eight nine all right, yeah, like I said, extend this up by nine. All right, and then you're gonna place a row of white concrete on top. On top. Sorry, my voice is giving up, of course. <laughs> All right, and then you're basically gonna put a row of uh, blackstone slab on top uh, and extend out by one. Uh, and then the bottom half, the white concrete, you're gonna place a row of blackstone slab, like so. Okay, and then you're gonna okay. So then for the back, you're gonna extend this black, this row of black concrete all the way until it hits the the corner of the leaves, like so. And then uh, nine more, and then you're gonna place nine more rows of uh, light gray concrete on top, like so. And then go ahead and replace your jungle wood. You don't need it anymore, and get your green concrete. Yeah, you no longer need your jungle wood. You've already used it, so you can go ahead and replace it um, permanently with your uh, gray concrete. Or not great concrete. You already have your green concrete. You're a green concrete. Sorry. Anyway, um, and then you're gonna extend this all the way up to the top. Well, not all the way up to the top. Just um, you know, like I said, nine rows of um, uh, light gray concrete. All right. And then, like I said, you're gonna place a row of um, white concrete, basically. And then just extend like the slab over. As you guys can see, you guys can pretty much see. You don't even have to count. You just kind of gotta extend everything over the back like so all right and then um all right and then at the back uh you want to leave a gap of one from the top and a gap of one from the sides and place two rows of uh green concrete all right uh, i'm not really so sure why it's just for decoration because otherwise the back looks terrible so yeah so like i said one block from the top one block from the sides all right now for the starbucks sign basically it wants to be um, two blocks away from the end. Okay, so, all right, so you're gonna come to this big light gray wall, right? You're gonna leave a gap of one from the bottom, leave a gap of, leave a gap of two from the sides, or from the left side, and then you're gonna basically spell out um, S T A R B U C K S. Leave a gap of one. S or sorry, C O F F E E. All right, so you basically tell it's a gap of one from the end. And it's going to be two rows, obviously, because the banner is two rows big. All right, and there you go. And that's obviously where you're going to write Starbucks coffee right there. Perfect. All right, and then um, uh, once you've done that, 
All right, so basically what you want to do for this other side uh, is pretty self-explanatory. It's going to be the same thing as what you did on the other side. Um, so you're going to make this black concrete as long as this row of leaves, right? And then, like I said, you know, you're, basically, you're basically just going to extend everything over. You don't even have to count. Just kind of extend everything over like this. All right. Um, all right. Um... Yeah, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> um, all right, and then once, yeah, like I said, once you've done this, um, you're going to, um, yeah, place a row of white concrete at the top, and then just uh, extend the slab over, so slab on top, extend out by one, and then bottom half of the white concrete, you're gonna place, you know. All right, all right, so for this, um, so for the right side, you actually want to leave a gap of one from the end and spell S T A R B U C K S. Gap of one, C O F F E E, until it's, whoops, there we go, until it's a gap of two from the end. All right. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit opposite on the other side because of the, the words. So, yeah, pretty simple. All right. All right. And once you have done that, um, you're going to come to like the, so on this side, you're going to come to the bottom here. You're going to leave a gap of one, and you're going to dig out um, four blocks, right? Like two blocks and then two blocks on top of it. And then on either side, you're basically going to put a row of glass pane. Uh, and then go ahead and replace your uh, green concrete and your light gray concrete with your quartz slab and block. All right, and then you're basically going to put um, three rows of um, quartz block on top. So that's one, two, three. Uh, oh, wait, that's white concrete, my bad. Quartz block, there we go. Yeah, so you're just going to put three rows of quartz block on top, and then just bottom half of the quartz, you're going to do two rows of slab, like so, all right? And then replace the, sla uh, the quartz with the light gray concrete and the uh, green concrete, all right. Going to bring those back, but anyway. So once you've done that, that's obviously the uh, drive through window. You all know, all right. So, uh, yeah, once you have done that, um, uh, you're going to go ahead and, and uh, so from this wall here, you're going to do uh, one, two, three, four, five. You're going to extend that out by one. Um, yeah, okay, so basically, okay, hang on, let's redo this. Okay, so from this wall, right, you're going to, so from the leaves, okay, well, yeah, so from these this row of leaves, you're going to do one, oops, one, two, three, four, five, and then connect it to the flowering azalea. All right, uh, you're gonna basically, oops, why did I do that? I don't know. All right, all right, sorry. And then uh, just extend this row of five um, gray concrete all the way to the top, like so. Uh, and then just, um, yeah, basically make it as tall as the other one. So it's gonna be two blocks taller than the slab, two blocks off the slab. Um, and if you want, you can actually go ahead and connect at the end, you can go ahead and connect these ends here. Um, just and then extend down by two, right? All right, like so. All right, and then uh, you're basically going to, um, all right. And then the next thing you want to do is take your uh, great concrete, and then you're going to come to where the front of your Starbucks is going to be, right? And then you're going to come to this little area here. You're going to put a row of four great concrete, right? Extend all the way up, and then extend to the. Uh, like the other side here, like so. And then extend a row of um, gray concrete all the way down at the top here, like so. And then the rest of these gray concretes, you want to go ahead and extend all the way up. Like so. So pretty, uh, pretty simple. All right. Uh, yeah, so once you've done that, um, yeah, go ahead and extend this uh, all the way over as well. Okay, and then, yeah, go ahead and extend, all right, and then from this um, that you extended up, you basically want to go ahead and extend this over to the tower, connect it at the tower, and then two blocks down from there, or not two blocks down from there, just extend it down by one, as you guys saw, all right, and just extend that over, all right, as you guys can see, we're doing this whole framework here, pretty simple stuff, all right, and then uh, that's basically what you do there, all right. 
The next thing you want to do is grab your white concrete. And then you're going to want to do one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So from there, all right, uh, you want to go ahead and uh, uh, kind of extend this row of gray concrete back. Like so. So just uh, back with this. Um, just extend this all the way back. Oh wait, not here, not here. Wait, hold on. Okay. Yeah, so like right here at the edges here, you want to go to extend this back. All right. All right. Like okay. So basically, at the ends that are uh, where the gray con the light gray concrete wall is, you want to kind of extend these ends back. Okay. All right. And then from there, you basically want to do um, like uh, you guys can kind of see where I'm placing it, like one row below, but like one row behind the gray concrete, if you know what I mean. Uh, and you guys feel like I said, you're gonna put five rows of um, white concrete and you're gonna do this on all sides. All right, and then uh, four and then five, and then you're gonna place a row of black concrete at the bottom. All right, oops, I can get it to work, there we go. Dang, this is gonna be a bit of a long tutorial. All right, and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other sides, like I said, so up to the front. All right, like I said, Row five, so it's one, two, three, four, and five going down. It's five blocks of five rows of um, white concrete, and then you're gonna basically put a row of um, that black concrete underneath. All right, and then, like I said, one row, oops, wrong, uh, wrong placement. Okay, so yeah, basically, like I said, one row back, but one row below the white, the gray concrete, you want to put five rows of white. And then, uh, once you've done these five rows, um, you're gonna place a row of, um, black concrete underneath. Like so, all right. All right, and then that row of, um, black concrete, you wanna go ahead and, uh, connect down to the ground on the ends. You want to connect the ends of the black concrete all the way down, like so. All right, um, so, all right, yeah, pretty simple. Yeah, so this is a pretty, uh, this is a fairly simple build to make. It just takes time. Okay, so the next thing you want to do uh, is go ahead and dig out the uh, grass concrete, like, or not grass concrete. Did I seriously just say that? Oh my god. <laughs> the grass between the the rows of black concrete you extended down and then you're just gonna put black uh, black concrete right there so like like I said so you see the black concrete rows that you've extended down the grass um, between the road those rows so you're basically gonna, gonna dig out and place a row of black uh, and then just basically right behind this flowering azalea here uh, you wanna yeah basically just do the same thing on this side as well okay yeah you guys can already see this is starting to come together quite nicely so all right and then basically what you want to do next is you want to leave a, so, so okay, so we're going to come to the side with the parking lot, right? You're going to leave a gap of three on either end and basically put a row of black concrete going up. Two, three, going up like that. Okay. And then once you've done that, you're going to leave a gap of two. Uh, so like in the middle here, you want to leave a gap of two from either side. Oh, wait. Oh, I, it must be uh, a row of two blocks. Yeah, okay, so the row is two blocks long, okay. Alright, so you're going to leave a gap of two from either end in the middle, right? And then you're going to put uh, two blocks in the middle, and then extend up by two, and then connect to the uh, other sides. And then you basically uh, want to grab your glass pane, and then just put glass pane, oops, that's not where I want it. Uh, right above, like these are obviously where the doors are going to go, so just kind of put it right, 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 right above the doors there. Uh, and then go ahead and place your doors, as we already have the doors, go ahead and place your doors. And then on the sides, obviously, are going to be big windows, so go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, extend this all the way over. Alright, well, not extend. What am I saying extend all the way over for? Basically, just fill this, these sides up with glass. Alright, uh, and then we'll do the front of the building. Oh my gosh, alright, there we go, perfect. Alright, and then once you've done that, you want to come to the front of the building, right? And then from there, excuse me, you want to put, basically you want to leave a gap of 
Is that five on either side? Yes. Okay, so you're going to leave a gap of five on either side. So come to the front, leave a gap of five on either side. So that's, um, take your black concrete, one, two, three, four, five. Put a row of black concrete going to the top. Three, four, five. Row of black concrete going to the top. Um, ooh, we could have done, I think we did it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Better not be telling me this is too. Wait, what? Hold on, we did something wrong. Oh, I think I think I see the uh, problem. No, I don't. Never mind. False alarm. So one, two, three, four, five. That's five on either side. So I don't know what's going on here. There should be a. I I might just be confusing myself again. Nope, that's. Yeah, that's five. Wait, okay, what about this side? Yeah, that's five. What the heck? Dude, I hate whenever I'm doing that. Y'all, I hate when I'm doing this and there's just some unknown issue. Y'all, I hate that crap, dude. How is it one block? What? Like, everything is perfectly aligned. Everything is in per- Okay. Well... Okay, well, forget about it then. I guess we'll just put a single door here, so... There should be enough space for a double door, but no, there's not. Unless you wanted it to be, like, off-centered. But no, we're not gonna do that. So we'll just put a single door there, I guess, and then... Um... Yeah. Like, how is this... I don't know, y'all. This is... This is annoying. I don't know what's going on here. How is there... How is there... What? Dude, oh my god. What if this tower... No, this tower is the perfect size. Everything is... Everything is the right size. I don't know what's going on here, guys. There should be a two blocks in the middle, not three. I don't know. Just... Okay, we're just gonna have to... I guess forget about it. Okay. This is stupid. I don't know why this isn't... There's something wrong, but we're just gonna work with it. So I guess go ahead and grab yourself some glass block. Uh, and just kind of, um, just kind of put two rows of black block, a glass block on the, um, like at the end of the door, uh, put a row of, um, black concrete on top, and then just put, like, black glass on top. Yeah, I don't know what the issue is, guys, but honestly, it doesn't matter, so we'll forget about it. Um, but if you're that bothered by it, um, which I don't think a lot of you are, but if you guys actually are, then, uh, you would have to completely shorten this entire side of the building by one. I don't recommend doing that. I recommend just sticking with this because it really doesn't look too bad. So just kind of stick with it. I don't know what the problem is. There's something wrong, but oh well. Anyway. Oh my gosh, okay. And then yeah, just fill in the windows on the sides. Okay. Oh my goodness, we're 40 minutes in and we haven't even done the... Oh, this is probably going to be an hour long as well, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Okay. Okay, and then, all right. All right, so you're gonna leave a gap of four on either, okay, so you're gonna come to this uh, right side, right? So this last side here, you're gonna leave a gap of four. So one, two, three, four. And then for the fifth block, hang on. I don't think I did that right. Two, three, four. Okay, good, I did it right, okay. And then on the other side as well, one, two, three, four. Oh, yep, okay, good, all right. And then in the middle, you just, and then just everything just fill in with glass. So no, it's not gonna be any doors on this side, so literally just fill it in with glass. Yeah, so pretty simple. Oops, oh my goodness, all right. Um, all right, and then once you've done that, um, let, me, uh, let me just fill the rest of this in. This glass pane takes some time, okay. So the next thing you're gonna do, uh, you're gonna go ahead and replace your glass block with your um, polished blackstone stairs. We're going to do the uh, this little um, thing now. So basically, four, okay. So basically on either side, like all above the windows here, um, the half block on the bottom half of the black concrete here, above the windows, you're gonna, just put, you're gonna basically put a row of four um, blackstone slab extending out. And then you're gonna do the same thing like so, one, two, three, and four, all right. 
Okay, and then you're gonna do the same thing, like I said, on the other side, bottom half of the black concrete here. So first row of black concrete. Two, three, and four. Okay, like so. All right. So yeah, like I said, you're gonna do four rows either side. Okay, and then you're gonna grab your stairs. All right, here's how you're gonna do this. All right, so you're gonna come to the very last row of the slab, right? You're gonna leave a gap of one. Hang on, let me check if it's a gap of one or not. Okay, yeah, sorry, I had to make sure. All right, so on either side, you're gonna leave a gap of one. This works, for, and this goes for all the other sides too. You're gonna leave a gap of one. You're gonna basically put blackstone stairs. Okay, not blackstone brick stairs. I don't know why I have that. You should be getting uh, uh, polished blackstone stairs. All right, cause, all right, and then, yeah, all right. So not brick, but the polished blackstone stairs. And then you're basically gonna basically, uh, um, um, like, um, connect it all the way up to the, uh, like the white concrete like this, so as, if, as if you were making a staircase, basically. Just kind of connect it up to the white concrete until it's like two blocks from the top, basically. So as if you were making a staircase, basically. All right, uh, make sure it's two blocks from the top. All right, and then um, from there, you wanna leave a gap of um, three on either side. All right. Gap of three on either side, and then you wanna put the stairs. And then you wanna extend the stairs up to the white concrete uh, just until it is um, two blocks from the top, like I said, like I said, so. All right, and then once you have done that, all right, um, like I said, you're gonna do this for all the other ones, so uh, gap of one from the sides, basically gonna put like the, at this uh, at the end, this first row, or I guess this last row of um, like, um, slab, and then you're gonna extend the stairs up, and then um, yeah, up until it is two blocks from the top, like so. All right, and then you're gonna leave a gap of three, and then just do the same thing. So this is basically meant to be the little uh, overhang type deal. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called a canopy, I wanna say. I'm not sure though. Probably not, I might be wrong. I'm most definitely wrong, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's called a canopy. But yeah, no, I don't think it's a canopy, but yeah, just, just this whole metal overhang thing. And then, like I said, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. There's all three sides, you're gonna do this. Um, and then that'll basically be the building of Starbucks complete, except you gotta fill in the roof, which I'll get to that and how to do that in a minute. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, but first, or, no, nah, yeah, no, we'll go ahead and uh, get into that, but... I just gotta finish this last one. Whoops, needs to be right side up. There we go. Perfect, all right. So this is what it's gonna look like for all sides. This is looking really good. All right, perfect. Once you've done that, all right, so we're gonna go, why don't you, okay, why don't you guys go ahead and fill up the roof? So for the side with like the, um, the light gray concrete side, you're basically gonna connect the, the, you're basically gonna fill up this whole thing with blackstone slab. And then you're, and then for this big part here, you're gonna obviously fill this all up with gray concrete. And this will obviously take some time, but once you are done, this is what it's going to look like once you're done with that. All right. And then once you have done that, why don't we, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make the outside of eating area now. So uh, go ahead and put your materials away. Uh, oh, doesn't look like we can put much away. Okay, well, go ahead and clear those out then. Okay, so materials you're gonna need right now, you're gonna need another brick fence, green carpet, a green banner, iron bars, black carpet, you're gonna need black uh, black stairs, and I think that's it. Yep, okay, perfect. All right, so you're gonna come to the parking, where the parking lot is of your Starbucks, and then from this, like, this big area of um, smooth stone that we made earlier, um, to the front, this front row here of the, um, smooth stone, you're basically going to want to put a row of the nether brick fence one block away from each end. And then you basically, have, oh, whoops, okay. You're going to basically put a row of green carpet on top. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh my gosh, alright, carpet sucks, guys. How am I, how, why? I'm literally, 
Bro, okay. Yeah, this may take some time. I, I don't recommend rushing it. I recommend taking your time. So otherwise you're going to make a big mess like I did. <laughs> All right, but once you eventually get that to work, oops, there we go. <laughs> like I said, once you, get the, once you guys get that to work, um, you're going to take your um, Blackstone stairs. Um, you're going to want to leave a gap of one uh, from the end here. And then like, so from a gap, so a gap of one from the fence and a gap of one from the end, as you guys can see. So like it's a gap of one from the fence and it's like a gap of one from the, the end, right? And then you're basically just gonna kind of put more of these uh, blackstone stairs around until there's a block in the middle, like so. All right, and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So on the other side, leave a gap of one from the end, leave a gap of one from the fence, and then just kind of put a whole uh, like area of four stairs and then in the middle. Uh, also, guys, you're gonna go ahead and grab scaffolding. I apologize, I forgot about that. And then put scaffolding in the middle of the stairs. All right, on top of the scaffolding, you're gonna place two rows of iron bars, and place carpet on top, or black carpet on top. All right, you're gonna place, oh, not the fence, darn it. Uh, the iron bars. All right, and then you wanna put fence on top. Um, and then around the fence, or, or around the iron bars, you wanna place um, green banners. This is meant to be like folded up umbrellas, basically. That's what these are meant to be. I use these on like my, uh, my uh, Del Taco, if you guys remember that. I uh, did these for the outside. Oh my gosh, how am I placing double banners? What? All right, and then in the middle here, basically, um, which I guess it really doesn't matter where you place it. Oops. You're gonna place, like I said, the stairs, basically in line with the other tables. Uh, and then you're just gonna basically wrap this around. Uh, scaffolding, black, or not black carpet, uh, scaffolding, two iron bars, then black carpet. And then you're gonna wanna place, uh, oh my gosh, uh, um, green banners, which this is not gonna be easy all the way around, like so. Okay, dang, we're already 51 minutes in, that's insane. <laughs> wow, all right. Um, yeah, so it's not gonna be even for some reason. I'm not sure why, because it's even on this side. Oh, it's because it's two blocks away from the, wait. Okay, yeah, all right, Never mind. I think I did this wrong, hold up, okay. So this table on the far right, like facing where the parking lot is, um, you actually wanna go ahead and uh, move this over like towards the other tables by one. So, minor mistake, just uh, only a simple, pretty simple fix, really. Or, oh, oh my goodness, this, oh, really? Really? Why am I this bad? Why? Oh uh, my gosh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, and then just place um, black carpet on top. Oh my gosh, can I just place it? Gosh darn it. <laughs> All right, there we go, and that's how you do that. All right, so it actually wants to be, so on this end, it actually wants to be two blocks away from the end. All right, and then basically, you're gonna do the same things. You're just gonna basically make the tables one block away, so so from the tables, one block away, and then you're gonna put four, you know, stairs. Oh my gosh, my dogs are gonna bark, of course. All right, um, and then like I said, scaffolding in the middle, two iron bars, on top of the scaffolding and on top of that black carpet. All right, um, all right, yep. And then just, and then around the uh, iron bars, uh, obviously, like I said, you're gonna place green banners for the folded up umbrellas. All right. Um, and uh, yeah, and then basically, once you have done this, guys, that'll basically be, well, actually, hang on, I forgot, we have to do the bone meal, um, but that won't take too long, so that'll actually be really quick. Um, so once you've added your umbrellas, once you've added these tables, that'll be the outside eating area, 100% complete. So you can go ahead and get rid of those materials and then grab your bone meal, and then come to where the drive-through window is on this side. And basically, wherever you see grass block, like just kind of exposed, go ahead and place yourself some bone meal. So kind of like around here, uh, go ahead and place yourself bone meal. Oh my gosh, don't do it like this. Like, all right. I wouldn't. I would not recommend making the tall grass, but or the grass tall like this. I mean, if you want it like this, okay. But I personally don't like it like this, so I'm just gonna. Dude, why am I taking out the grass blocks? There's a. Oh, that didn't work. All right, there we go. Yeah, I don't like the tall grass. Oh my god, dude. Dude, this is so annoying, guys. I can't wait to get this tutorial done. I can't wait to finish this tutorial. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then that's what you do with the bone meal. And then, guys, once you've done that. 
That'll be your modern Starbucks, of course, once you've done the roof as well. Don't forget about that. Um, that'll be your modern Starbucks 100% completed. Alright. So what you're going to want to do next is go ahead and get rid of all your materials, because we do not need them anymore. Like I said, the tutorial um, is complete. So basically, the last thing you want to do now um, is grab your banners, which, like I said in the beginning of the tutorial, for those that don't know how to make banner letters, there will be a banner letter tutorial in the description box below. So, alright, so basically, you're going to come to, like, the gray, uh, the gray, um, light gray concrete wall, right? And you can see where we have, like, uh, these, uh, green concrete that we placed on here. You're basically just going to write the word star on the bigger one, or Starbucks, uh, on the bigger one, and then, and then write coffee, uh, on the other one, uh, which I'll go ahead and do the other side first before I get the other letters. So star buck. And then oop, that's not that's not the letter. There we go. Alright, and then go ahead and grab F and E as well. And then uh let's do F F E E. Alright, and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. F um F and then E E. And there you go guys, Starbucks coffee. There is your Starbucks 100% completed. Well, your modern Starbucks, of course. But, uh, yeah, so like I said, this is what the finished product will look like once it's been 100% completed. Looks really good. Really proud of this dang build. Alright. Um, and then, alright, once you hop in here. Alright, so this is basically the interior that I made. So, yeah, basically, as always, it's just a bunch of tables. But these, uh, these windows let in a lot of, let in a lot of natural light. So really have really uh really nice. Um, you can see the flowering azalea out there and everything. Uh, and even then you can see the uh, outside evening area as well. Uh, but yeah, you got a bunch of tables here and booths, and then basically just like I said, and then just a bunch of carpeting. Uh, I kind of decided to decorate the counter a little bit with like uh, black and green. So yeah, this is the counters, the menu board, cash registers. Um, the, this little hallway with some carpeting that leads to the bathrooms, which the bathrooms are different from what I usually do. I actually added stalls for the first time in a while. Uh, these are a little different. So for the men's restroom, there's like blue doors, and then on the girls' restroom, there's pink. Obviously, it makes sense. I mean, so when you come in here, the toilets are a little different. So these are actually uh, TSMC's like, uh, this is actually TSMC's like toilet tutorial he made like yesterday, I think. Um, and this is, yeah, and then obviously, and you guys are probably wondering why there's lava inside. It's basically because, you know, all the coffee, and then, yeah, I don't know, it's just some sort of joke. It's meant to be like, you know, all the coffee, that's where all the coffee goes, that's why, you know, coffee's hot, so I thought I'd put lava. And then, of course, and then the toilet seats are blue in the men's restroom, um, and then it's basically pink in the girls' restroom, so, uh, as you can see there, it's different, it's pink. Um, but yeah, I like the chain, the old style chain. Toilet, kind of like the Krusty Krab toilet, the chain, um, pole chain to flush the toilet. Yeah, the old fashioned one. Pretty cool, but yeah, that's the same thing for all the other style with st uh, stalls and then, of course, toilet paper. Hand dryers, sinks, and trash can. Nothing, uh, nothing much else. Um, yeah, it's the same thing in here. Toilet paper and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, I thought I'd do that. Uh, his bathrooms were pretty big, so I figured I'd make them stalls, so, yeah. Okay, so there's that. And then you come to the other side. This is the employee. So this in here, these are meant to be like the coffee machines where you get your coffee. This is like where the coffee gets dispensed. And these are the coffee mugs. This is like where all the excess coffee goes, I guess. And then these are just, I don't know, it's just kind of meant for design. It's not really meant to be anything. And I just thought I'd put some banners again for design. And it's the same thing here. Furnaces, where they can bake like the muffins and stuff. Uh, the cake pops and whatever. I don't know what this would be for, but... And then just a bunch of storage right here for like mugs and stuff. They prepare the coffees and stuff. And this is of course the drive-thru window operator. This is where the drive-thru person would sit, you know, to take orders. Um, but yeah, that's basically the interior. So if you guys have any, if you guys want to know what to do for the interior, there you go. But yeah, guys, there's modern Starbucks. Also, guys, see so if you guys can guess the next city build. It's either going to be modern Chick-fil-A or modern Arby's. Which one do you guys think it's going to be? Comment below. But anyway, guys. That is the end of this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, smash a like, subscribe to your channel, and subscribe, um, and turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload and subscribe to my other channels. And uh, yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.